is your balloon girl Karen Sawyer with another easy tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to make a five pack Easter carrot balloon column. That was a mouthful. So start with your bottom with a five inch balloon inflated to three and a half inches. So the best way for you to do the five pack is to go ahead and tie in three balloons after you've inflated it and then use two for your duplet and then pull that in. Put it on your pole as usual and you just need to wrap it one time, okay? And so it's best to go ahead and wrap it around um, where you see that there's two balloons that are not super tight. So then go ahead to row two with another five inch balloon, inflate it to four inches. And then you'll see at the very bottom, I wrapped it twice just to make sure it was secure. But from here on, you'll see each row is only wrapped once. And so that's the third row, which is inflated to four and a half inches. And that row actually is using an 11 inch balloon. And so then you just keep continuing all the way up to the pole. And then the row four is five and a half inches, again, using an 11 inch balloon. Then row six, I'm sorry, row five is 11 inch inflated to six and a half inches. Be sure that you're rounding your balloons when you're going ahead and placing them on the pole before you place them in the pole rather. And it gives you a more polished look. Again, I take three, a triplet, and wrap it in with the two, which is a duplet. Then I go ahead and place it onto the pole, wrap two balloons in between that pole, and just twist one time to lock it. And make sure you're paying attention as to where it nestles. Then go to row seven, 11 inch, inflate it to eight and a half inches. And then your next row is a row eight, 11 inches inflated to nine inches. And then we get to row nine. We're gonna now switch to a 16 inch balloon under inflated. The reason I chose a 16 inch balloon is because this needs to be set up for a period of time. Then I'm gonna go to row 10, same thing. Use a 16 inch balloon that's inflated to 10 inches. And I just wanted to be able to really under inflate and I wanted it to be large. So I went with a larger balloon. This needs to be set up for approximately three weeks. And so as I get closer to the top, you're going to see that that last row or two rows just depends um, my mood. I will wrap it twice just to make sure it's really locked on. <clears throat> Because I will then be going ahead and placing the topper. And I want to be sure that those top balloons are really secure. And so then the last row, row 11, another 16 inch balloon inflated to 10 and a half. Now, depending upon how you pack this, you might have a little bit of pole exposed or you may not. If you do, then a remedy to fix that is just go ahead and put another row of five inch balloons at the top and inflate it to about four or four and a half inches and that way you can easily tie in your topiary topper which you will see here in a moment and so i did have to do that at the top and that is going to be where i'm going to tie in my 350 topiary topper so here are your you can use a 350 or a 360 it's up to you how many you use in this particular instance i did use 10 I fully inflate, and then you need to burp the balloon, meaning release some of the air to make the balloon a little soft and pliable because I am going to twist it. I'm going to fold the balloon in half to find the midpoint, and that's where I'm going to twist. And I'm twisting because I'm going to take the other nine balloons left, and they're going to all twist right there in the middle, and that's going to be the top. That's going to be our top. And so what we'll do is we'll take a flattened 260 and tie that in the middle. So 
So here I have a 260 on the top of that topiary and I'm pulling it in at the very top where I have those five inch balloons. If you didn't have any pole exposed, then that top row of 16 inch balloons should be really flush and your topper will sit nicely on top of that. And so that's it. Easy as one, two, three. Your Easter carrot balloon decor. Happy Easter. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe and like button.